I want you guys to do me a favor and just watch this video to the end because every day we 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 hear new things every day we hear new things i know this might not be new for some people but hey it is new to me and i'm pretty sure it will be new to many of you who are just listening for the first time because this is a different video entirely to be honest i don't even know if this would be allowed here i don't know but this is the truth and this actually did happen so i want you guys to watch with an open mind and See what you guys can come up with with this watch. How many humans does it take to make 17,000 human flesh capsules? A few years ago at Incheon International Airport in South Korea, customs officers are doing routine checks in the incoming luggage. They're like, wait, don't let that one through. The scans are all ringing off on that one. The customs officers, they pull a few suitcases off to the side, they open them up, and they're just staring at each other. They're staring at thousands, almost 20,000, so not even just thousands, like think about 20,000 pills stuffed into clear Ziploc plastic plastic bags, clear capsules that have this weird dark orange, almost brownish powder inside, no label, no identifying markers, no bottle, just pills inside plastic bags. I mean, they do kind of look like supplements, but I mean, do you really need 17,000 pills in a plastic bag for a light vacation? And so South Korea being South Korea, the first thought they have is drugs. We have just stumbled upon a massive narcotic smuggling operation. To them, this is El Chapo level activity. They confiscate all the pills. They start testing every single one of them what the hell is in this some of the pills were tested and they showed high levels of super bacteria super bacteria is typically a bacteria that cannot be killed with antibiotics so if it's ingested by a human it's very hard to kill it once it's inside your system it's like a virus yeah they're like antibiotic resistant so is this some sort of bioterrorism Bio attack weapon? yeah i mean they're gonna pass these out to civilians and get them sick on bacteria that are hard to treat it's gonna cause an outbreak i mean it's not gonna kill the country but it, it is gonna cause problems it would have been a very strange plan though which gave someone an idea they test the pills for something else and they finally come back positive the pills were a match for humans human flesh powdered concentrated packed into neat little doses the pills were made from powdered humans there were even little hairs found inside the capsules but where would you even get the raw material for the human flesh capsules? And so that guys, leads them um, to the after very hearing pressing that, question A lot of, of things would come to your mind. But well, for me, the very first thing that actually came to my mind was these are for the higher ups. These are not for s just some people. Because this is, a new, this is a new way of moving things like this. I mean, 17,000 worth of them? That's too much. Yeah, that's too much. And it's it's crazy because they went too much, through too much trouble to get to get this. I'm pretty sure this is for some higher client, and this won't be just any human. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't just want any human. They want some humans. You know, it, it's crazy that this sort of thing is happening in our world, and just very little amount of people actually know about this. If I don't stumble upon this video and maybe like the 6,000 people actually liked it or saw it, I'm pretty sure this is not viral yet. Please share.